Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I am going to discuss about explorative data analysis. Explorative itself says we are exploring the data available in the data set. I'll take an example and discuss this explorative data analysis. This is a SPSS data file where I have a case about plant disease. In this case, I have three variables, block, plant variety and diseased plants. In block variable, I have four blocks are there named as A, B, C and D. In each block, there are 20 varieties of plants are there and each variety, 100 plants are planted in the block. Diseased plant, this variable gives the information about how many plants got disease in that variety belong to that plot A. I'll show you the variable view. This is a variable view where block A is nominal. Variable plant variety is also nominal. Diseased plant is a numeric in data type and measurement scale is a scale data. Okay, when I have data, what I need to explore from this data? I want to understand how many diseased plants are there in each block and how many diseased plants are there for the plant variety. I want to explore. I want to understand the underlying characteristic, how the data is being distributed. This is what I am going to do with explorative data analysis. Let me see the definition. What is exploratory data analysis is? Exploratory data analysis is an approach to analyzing data set to summarize main characteristics of the data. This analysis uses a variety of techniques which are mostly graphical methods. And the main objectives of exploratory data analysis are to know underlying structure of the data, to have an insight into a data set, to identify important variables, to detect outliers and anomalies, to test underlying assumptions. Now let me do exploratory data analysis. To do this analysis, I go for the menu in this Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, in Descriptive Statistics, Explore. Okay, I have Dependent List and I have Factor List. Factor List will be nominal. So, Block Type I am taking as Factor List. And number of diseased plant, I want to know about block wise. So I am taking number of diseased plant as dependent list. I go to statistics button. Here initially I will be seeing about the descriptive statistics. Say continue and OK. Now this is the output window where I have case processing summary, number of diseased plants, 
block wise for 20 varieties are given. If we come for descriptive statistics, it is given block wise again. A, B, C, D will be there. And number of diseased plant wise, the information is given here. This is a descriptive statistics where we understand about the mean, median, variance, standard deviation, minimum number, maximum number, range, interquartile range. We are exploring the data, understanding the characteristics of different statistical measures. If you say about mean, 22 plants average are having disease in block A. If you see the same thing for block B, it is 33.7, around 34 plants are getting disease, average. And in the same way, we can talk minimum, maximum, minimum zero, maximum 76 plants are getting disease per variety, in each variety. And B block, this minimum is zero, maximum is 100. Total plants also can get disease in block B. If you see about the median range interquartile, these are graphically explained in box plot. When you come about skewness and kurtosis, this can be seen in histogram graphical plots. So let us do box plot and let us do histogram, understand the data distribution. 